because one thing I would never do is date a man who saw his mom get physically abused. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omaomi aka Petit Diva and in this video we are talking about DA, that's domestic abuse. Um, so there's this popular um, TikToker, podcaster, her name is Amani Talks. She, um, there was a video where she talked about the fact that she cannot date a man that has seen his mother being DA'd and um, it got me thinking. Uh, so let's check out the video and also what someone had to say. Then I will come back with my thoughts. And if you know, if you've been watching some of my previous video, you know that I kind of have an experience with this situation. So I would come back and um, talk about it from a personal point of view. When you date a man, you need to vet not only who you see in front of you, but vet his history too. Because one thing I would never do is date a man who saw his mom get physically abused. The rates for a man to repeat that cycle when they see their mom getting physically abused is so much higher. Chris Brown saw his mom getting abused. Darius saw his mom getting abused. We know the rates to repeat that cycle when you see abuse is so much higher. I'm not putting myself at risk like that. How do you know this? You're going to start asking questions. Your mom got beat up? Well, yeah, I'm going to be like, you know, what? are your parents together? No? Oh, okay, why? I want to know about your childhood. Because I want to know what you saw, what you grew up seeing, what you're going to repeat in the future. Mm-hmm. You got to vet people's parents because you're not just mirroring the person. You're mirroring mm-hmm. their family. Mm-hmm. I definitely look at people's family. I definitely look at women and like their sisters, their their mom, how their mom act, how they can their mom cook, how their mom treated them, all type of shit. And if I don't like their family dynamic, then I'm out. I'm good. So I kind of agree with what she said. As someone that grew up seeing my mother being abused in different ways, um, physical, financial, emotional, um, as a female, I have some attitude or would I say, I act in a particular way that someone who did not see that would not act so the slightest thing i begin to get a bit triggered or um, my guard is up meanwhile someone who did not experience that kind of thing doesn't will not act the way i act to some certain situation now for men i feel like if they witness that kind of thing growing up they need to get therapy, especially as they become adults, because she is right. It is a higher chance of someone who witnessed that as a child actually repeating the cycle, even if they don't want to. So I would say that people that um, experience such should actually go for therapy. They might feel like, no, it's never going to happen to me. One day, one day something will snap in your brain and if you are not disciplined if you don't recognize that okay this i'm towing this line let me pull back let me get help let me talk to somebody that will help me let's any which way that you want to do it either religious um either talking to a religious person uh talking to a religious mentor or pastor or whoever or psychotherapist you need to break the chain before it becomes a cycle so I feel like such men, even though there's the likelihood of them repeating such um, such things, um, getting therapy, talking to somebody and um, acknowledging the issue and in acknowledging the situations that might trigger them to repeat that cycle is something that would help a lot. Anyway, let's check out somebody's um, reaction to it, somebody's reply to this um, video and then I'll come back to share my thoughts. Cause one thing I would never do is date a man who saw his mom get physically abused. Facts. This is facts. Mm -hmm. Not only do you have to vet a man and his character, you have to vet his family. Mm -hmm. How was that man raised? Mm -hmm. And if his family are toxic and dysfunctional has he had the um courage to set a boundary and cut them off so that he could do the healing and inner work from all the dysfunction and chaos they've caused in his life all the trauma the childhood trauma if he still has a close 
enmeshed relationship with his family and they're toxic as fuck, get, yo, you got to run. You got to get out of there. His family has ruined him. And yes, a lot of times these men will sit up and bash and talk shit about their family. He'll sit up and talk about his mama being oh, a weak ass bitch. She let daddy walk all over her. He'll talk shit about his father. He'll talk shit about his sister. But he's two-faced. He's a two-faced snake. He's a narcissist. And what narcissists love to do is play both sides of the fence. This is called triangulation. So while he's hmm. talking shit about his mama and his sister to you, Trust and believe he's going to go to his family behind your back and talk shit about you. He's going to sit up with his mama and sister and female cousins and tell them all y'all business and tell them about all the arguments you had so that the women in his family, his family in general can start, start side eyeing you and start treating you funny. Then when he sets you up to dump you, the family going to be on his side because he didn't talk so much shit about you. So it's critical that you find out how this was raised and how much power and influence his toxic, dysfunctional, narcissistic family has over him. And I'm going to tell you another trick, ladies. I, wanna, I want y'all to open up your eyes. We're going into a new year. It's time to smarten up. If you are a woman with morals and high standards and basically you're the total opposite of his mama and the women in his family let's just say all the women in his family are misogynistic they male worshiping coddle they worship the ground a man walks on no matter if that nigga cheats lies beats whatever he does to a woman these bitches worship the ground a toxic man walks on but you come up in there he introduces you to the family and and your standards are totally different than his family's like you have morals, you have high standards, you don't take no bullshit, you set boundaries. And most importantly, you're trying to uh, um, pull him out of the toxic environment and show him better things in life so that he could fucking level up. Do you know his family will hate your ass? And you best believe they will help that nigga lie and cheat on you. They'll help him mm -hmm. pull, they'll pull him away from you because they don't want him to leave the toxic dysfunctional system that they have created. See, he's been trained and groomed since childhood to stay loyal to his family, no matter how and dysfunctional and trifling they are. They've groomed him to never stray. He might stray a little bit, but he, he, he better come on back. His mama and daddy taught him your loyalty is to your family. I don't give a fuck how crazy we are, how a we are. His mama will be like, yeah, your daddy beat me. Your daddy got mad side chicks, but we family. You still, you supposed to stay here. Mm -hmm. You have to vet a man based on his morals, his ethics, his upbringing. Mm -hmm. I don't care how well he presents himself. He's always going to come off charming and well-dressed and well-mannered. Every snake moves the same way. Aye. Find out how his parents fucking raised him. Mm -hmm. If they abused him in any type of way. If he witnessed his mama being disrespected, dog walked, cheated on by his father. And then, ladies, this, I'm going to tell you another thing, ladies. A lot of y'all get this shit twisted. Up. You think because a man comes from a two-parent household, he grew up with both his parents in the house that, you know, you in the clear. No, 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 no. no. Because let me make you understand something. If his parents were married and he was raised in a two-parent household, but he witnessed his daddy treat his mama like garbage. He knows his daddy had side chicks and cheated on his mama. Mm -hmm. He saw his daddy the fuck out his mama. Girl, you in trouble. Stop thinking that a two-parent household, a man that's raised in a two-parent household means he's, he's, he's got a good upbringing. No, no, no. It depends on what he witnessed his father do to his mama. And if his father abused his mama, you best believe he's going to repeat the cycle. Mm -hmm. My ex did it to me. I found out late that my ex abused his baby mothers, beat their asses. Wow. The nigga went to prison for 20 years i found out about this late ah. he went to prison for 20 years he pulled a gun on his girlfriend at the time and left on a high-speed car chase then when the nigga got released after 20 years he looked me up and within a month of me getting back with him
and beat me and huh. body slammed me on the ground straight. He left his fingerprints in my throat, huh. which said to me, didn't teach him shit. It made his behavior worse. What? His father and mother created a fucking monster in prison, made that monster even mm. 10 times worse. Mm. How the do you serve 20 years for domestic and, come and, do and you come out too. putting your hands on a woman still? Something's wrong with the up here. Wow. But I was able to analyze his family, especially his parents. Parents are still married after 40 years, but they are separated. They won't divorce, which means there's a toxic enmeshment, dysfunctional. Mama is living in her house separately, f***ing other niggas, while daddy's living with his girlfriend side chick. Yet they won't fucking divorce. And you don't think this impacted him to do damage and destruction to his women and girlfriends? Mm -hmm. 20 years and comes out after he's fucking released within one, two months, he's already putting his hands on a woman. Wow. The way that a man is raised and what he witnesses, his parents, their relationship, if it's toxic, dysfunctional, I don't care if it's a two parent household or whether he's raised by a single mother and how his mother carries herself and how she allows men to treat herself, it will greatly impact a man. And he will grow up to become a man who continues to pass on what his parents taught him. He will transfer that abuse into your relationship. Ladies, be careful. I don't give a f how well he's dressed. I don't care if he makes six figures. I don't care how charming he is. I don't care. Find out how that is raised. Because if, if his family is any type of dysfunctional, the women are misogynistic and narcissistic, the family will not want to see him succeed with a strong woman trying to help him break generational curses, generational trauma. He's going to stay loyal to his dysfunctional family. You need to get the fuck out, uh, up out of there. Don't just vet a man, vet his people. And if he lies and tries to hide it, Thing is, don't allow dangerous. yourself to be committed to him you got to do your research and investigative work before you get in too deep with these n that's all i'm gonna say oh wow 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 that that was that was after 20 years and the person still came out and repeated the same crime that made him stay in prison for 20 years i agree with some of the points that she made where she talked about the fact that um when someone is toxic and narcissistic even though they are doing some things they will still want to hold you then they will be using oh is it your father is your uh, she's your mother this you know you cannot and uh, get rid of them then they will get the whole community to start saying oh is your father so you cannot separate you cannot uh what's it you cannot uh, do without the person and then that kind of brings um, the toxicity near you and can affect your um, can affect your mental health and can affect your future. Now, breaking the chain, breaking the cycle, you have to go for therapy. You have to acknowledge the things that you've seen, the childhood drama that you've experienced is real. So you have to acknowledge it. You have to see how it has shaped you um, and your um character how it has shaped your reaction your relationship with people personally like i said um there's some things that other people might take but me immediately someone begins to say a to c i'm getting ready to say d to z because i'm not going to stay and allow someone to treat me the way my mother was treated so I'm already agitated. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to push back. I'm not ready to just take it. So I do accept a lot of things. And it, I don't know if it's good or bad, but I'm, I'm always ready to go. That's the thing. And I feel like it's because of what I saw. Now, for a man that has witnessed it, like she said, there is a tendency to repeat the cycle. And... That is the truth. There's a tendency to repeat the cycle. You might think that, oh, it's not going to happen. But there are some times that, because that's all you know, you don't know any other way to resolve conflict or 
any disagreement you just rely back on what you saw the anger the the fighting the all kinds of things and because the guy is a man the woman will be smaller it'll be like okay i can subdue this person and you react the same way now if the female that reacts and say hold up who do you think you're going to um who do you think you're going to do like that it becomes a problem for them because they are like how dare you um fight back because their mother did not fight back so that kind of thing uh, it's possible and it's it's more than possible like she said even though so the guy her ex had spent 20 years he still came out and did the same thing him staying in prison without acknowledging what happened without going to therapy without doing things to um try and resolve his issue he didn't do it it just made things worse for him and he came out and became like she said a monster so um personally i would say anybody that has experienced this kind of situation growing up should actually seek therapy before you even try to get into a relationship now some people might enter the relationship and because of their understanding partner and whatever they will all go to therapy and everything will be resolved um better but it is best to do the therapy best to acknowledge your trauma best to find out ways to navigate different situations so that you don't end up repeating what you saw growing up any which way that is my thought about the whole situation i would love to hear your thoughts about the whole situation so please leave your comment in the comment section so that we can get this discussion puppy now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye